Hey, this is Aaron with Bushcraft Devotions and here with another budget knife review. So what do we have here? We have the Uncle Henry Staglon 8.5 inch high carbon stainless steel fixed knife. It's a model 1100034 and I'll show you that on the blade. This is, um, they call it a survival camping hunting knife. I would classify this more as a hunting slash skinner knife and I'll be showing you why. The total weight of the knife itself is 5.3 ounce. Overall length is once again, eight and a half inches. The blade length is four and a quarter inch. First, let's just look at the sheath. It is a leather sheath. It's not nylon. It does come with this lanyard hole leather strap. This is kind of nice that it's included in it. This is not made in the United States, knife or the sheath. But it's a nice sheath. It has good, good stitching on it. Has a pretty good size belt loop. It has a snap retention. Now this retention kind of moves around a little bit. See this? So sometimes you gotta straighten it out to put it on there, but it's a nice sheath. And I think it's rough leather. You have scarring of the leather right there. Of course, I collect premium Bibles and when you have a scarring in premium Bibles, it's nice as well. So here's the blade itself. It is 7CR17 MOV, high carbon stainless steel. It does have a stag long handle. And what's that mean? It's, it's pretty well uh, like a plastic material. So it's not officially stag, but it's stag long. It is full tang. So you can see that blade goes all the way through. It does have pinned in two places, here and here. The fit and finish is pretty good. I mean, is for what you're paying for, it's nice. It is a nickel silver finger guard. No finger guard that comes up here, and I'll show you why that's nice not to have it come up here. It is here, so if you are having to stab this life, it's gonna protect your finger from going forward. It is a clip point with a hollow grind, satin finish. So let me just show you the size of this knife compared with, say, the Buck. This is the 110 Slim. There you go, so you kind of see a nice length. Buck blade is just under four. Once again, this is four and a quarter. It's a it's a very nice, beautiful knife, though. I mean, you carry this on your side. You know, it's gonna turn some heads. Not too many knives have staglon looks anymore, so that's kind of really beautiful. So once again, what's this knife used for? I I mean, I guess you could baton, but it's not gonna have that much of a spread for the wood. Whittling, yes. Feather sticking, yes. As far as tent pegs, yes. Can you use this for food preparation? Yes. And uh, just a point for food preparation, if you're going to use oil, protect your blade, which you should, especially if you're using leather sheets, always, use olive oil or food safe oil. A lot of times people use oil on these and they don't wash them or anything, go straight to food, not realizing you're getting that oil right in your food. So just remember that. I like that it is stainless steel, so that means it's not gonna corrode or rust as fast as carbon blades. Although you still want to, as much as you can, after you use it, wipe it off and oil it as quick as you can as well. Now, it has a very interesting design, so it's not going to be 
straight on top. And I like most of my knives too. But this one's going to have a little bit of a, I guess you'd call it a swedge up here. But that is perfect when it comes to skinning. A lot of times people do it like this. But if you're doing feather sticking, cutting through, that gives you a lot of stability to put your thumb there and here. There's no finger choil, so I wouldn't even try that. There's that model number, 1100034. There's not a name for it, but camping, yeah, I would definitely use this for camping. Survival, eh, no, no. I like bigger for survival knives anyway. I do like the Becker BK-9. Of course, you have the Buck 119, you have the Buck 120 General. My favorite's the Buck 124 Frontiersman Full Tang. It that thing is has big duty. That is a big duty knife. But also you have like the Gerber Strong Arm. It's a very nice one. Those are be great when it comes to bushcraft, survival, defense, things like this. That well, don't get me wrong. You could probably use this for defense as well. But this is more for your food preparation, light camp tasks. Once again, hunting, skinning, that's all you would need if you're going to go hunting, need to skin something. That'll go anywhere from squirrel all the way up to deer, anything else. That'll really get into the wild game that you need. Has a good point. That thing is sharp. Now, let me just show you here. And no, I haven't used this yet. This is right out of the package. right out so that thing is pretty pretty sharp yeah can it be sharper yeah just put it on a whetstone and you'll be able to get that sharper than it is but you know for something as budget as this to come right out it's nice now preferably I do like a made in the United States knives but once again, for the price point, it's a nice knife. It has that American Pioneer Day look too. So if you're going to go out on a Pioneer Day and maybe do a little reenacting or anything, something like this on your belt. There you go. So once again, that is... The Uncle Henry Staglon 8.5 inch high carbon stainless steel knife, model 110034. Hey, if you like what you watch, I ask you to hit like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of other videos. And right now we have a knife giveaway going on. So search my videos for that one. And I just did another budget knife not too long ago that I will put in the end screen for that one. I do have in the video description an affiliate link that you can get this knife. I appreciate you watching. I thank all you for, for subscribing and watching my videos. And soon I'm going to be doing some videos where I actually put these knives not to the test. I'm not going to try to break them, but the functionality videos of the knives. Thank you for watching. God bless.